why do menstrual cycles matter? Well, they matter a lot. The first thing to understand is that fertility and the menstrual cycles are a vital sign of health. In fact, the American College of OBGYN has finally acknowledged, you'd think they would have figured this out a while back, that the menstrual cycle is a vital sign. So anytime a woman is having infertility and or menstrual cycle dysfunction, all of these are signs that there's an underlying problem that's occurring in that woman and they need to be addressed. You wouldn't just give ibuprofen to someone who has a perpetually high fever. You'd want to say, I wonder why this person has this really high fever. I hear this over and over. I was put on birth control pills by my doctor to regulate my cycles. You're not regulating anything. You're shutting down ovarian function. They are no longer making any or minimal amounts of that vital life hormone, estradiol, the type of estrogen the ovaries make, and progesterone, real progesterone. Instead, you're replacing them with endocrine disruptors. I know that seems like so hard to hear that it's not really different than if you took a drinking cup made out of plastic, round that into powder, put it in a capsule and said, here's your estrogen pill mm -hmm. because they're xenoestrogens. They're chemicals that can affect estrogen functioning in a whole slew of ways. And they were designed to prevent pregnancy by stopping ovulation. If you talk about what's going on in the menstrual cycle, that is really key to protecting women from developing cancer. There are genes that can be turned on or off depending on the rhythm and the levels of these vital hormones.